Eucharist this morning, let us pause and call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, in the abasement of your Son, have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, put your house in order, for you are about to die. You shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. O oh Lord, remember how faithfully and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you in three days. You shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add 15 years to your life. I will rescue you in this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil that he might recover. Then Hezekiah asked, What is the sign I shall go up to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This will be the sign for you from the Lord, that he will do what he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway to the terrace of Ahaz go back the ten steps it has advanced. So the sun came back the ten steps it had advanced. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You saved, you saved my, my life, life, O Lord, Lord I shall, shall not, not die. die. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You saved, you saved my life, life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You saved, you saved my, my life, life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You, you saved, saved my, my life, life, O Lord, Lord I shall, shall not die. die. Those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You, you saved, saved my, my life, life, O Lord, Lord I shall not die. die.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions but only the priests could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. As a little kid, I remember being in Woolworth's department store, or 5 and 10, in Newark, New Jersey, Broad and Market Street. I was with my mother at a counter. It was Friday, so it was time for a grilled cheese sandwich. And I looked over and I saw a lady eating a hamburger. I said to my mother, look there, look there. It's a person who's not eating meat, who's eating meat on Friday. And she tried to explain to me that perhaps the person wasn't Catholic. But I went to bed that night thinking about that woman's soul being damned to hell. How I've changed. How I think all of us have changed. We have seen the message today here in the gospel come real to us. She's is saying to us, it's mercy. I expect. It's mercy, I expect. My friends, do you show mercy? Do I show mercy? I need to ask that question. Or do I look at a person like a person of the law, following the law, and they're good you now the prescription will be eternal damnation? That's not Jesus. We have come to understand. Jesus is mercy and expects the same of us. Let us offer our prayers to our God. For the church, drawn from all nations and languages, may the Lord look graciously upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who participate in the legislative process, may God bless their efforts to protect life from conception through natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may Christ the healer bring his healing touch to their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in love and faith, may God's love dwell in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that God will welcome into his kingdom all who have died, especially those in our parish prayer list, and grant peace and strength to their families and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Angelo Taranto, whom we remember at this Eucharist in a special way, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, hear the prayers we place before you this morning. We ask them in faith and with great hope through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our, con bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a good day as you go in the peace of Christ.